Tell me a ghost story that sounds completely unbelievable but is entirely true. I'll go first. When I was eight years old, my family and I moved to a small town in the Midwest and it was a farm town. It was built in like the early 1800s. It was, I think it was part of like the Homestead Act or something. And it was, uh, you know, had a bunch of acres, a barn that had burnt down. Like it was an active farm back then. Lots of history. People definitely passed away on the property. That we knew for sure. And man, it was it like very obvious as a child. I was super intuitive and I didn't know what to do with that intuition. So I naturally <laughs> got a Ouija board. And of course I dragged along my best friend and my sister and, and a couple other times, a couple other friends on this Ouija board journey where we would go and sit at the top of the stairs to the basement and we would turn all the lights off and turn candles on and then ask this thing questions and it responded and I don't tell people this story it sounds psycho it's I, the fact that other people are there to verify all of these things and validate gives me inner peace but I don't tell people um, but it worked it um, and unlike what I thought would happen when it would move you know even when we lift all of our hands off of it it's still moving um, is how aggressively it moved it wasn't gentle it was like very sharp and so so much time would pass when we were in there talking to this entity as well like we would think 10 minutes went by and it would be two hours like insane being little kids we wanted to know questions and answers like who are we going to marry when we grow up or uh, how many kids are we going to have or just questions like that and every single time we start you know it would give us answers at first like and it would tell us about itself and we would say like what's your name and it would just say demon d-e-m-o-n like over and over again um when we would ask questions about me, it would, at first it would like give us answers and then it would just spell bitch repeatedly, B-I-T-C-H, B-I-T-C-H, B-I-T-C-H. Horrifying, like any question about me. Also, sorry if I seem lackluster, I already told this whole story and it deleted, it was so freaky. Also having like visuals of like hands reaching towards the planchet, like in the candlelight uh, flicker, this entity gave us details saying that it was like buried in the cemetery, um, a cemetery that was like local, like the name was legit. It gave us like, I think it either gave us a plot number or it was just like the last name. And we did go there and what we found was crazy. We're on the bathroom floor <laughs> in, in your old farmhouse and it was me and you and another friend. And I just remember feeling like this like tingle of energy. Um, and we all thought that we were fucking with each other. <laughs> <laughs> like me and you were thinking that it was Mia and then me and Mia thought that it was you and then y'all thought it was me and I was like it's definitely not me <laughs> and I don't know what I don't remember the specifics of the conversation but I know that we were we were like in the meeting for like three hours and like remember like my neck and my like shoulders getting sore from bending over the board for so long <laughs> and I remember asking you know like stupid questions like middle school girls ask or whatever we were in high school same thing um, we were like, are we, is Mia going to get married someday? <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> but then it like started to take a darker turn. And for whatever reason, anytime you would ask a question, it would spell out B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> I just remember that very clearly. And then also we asked, um, is there anybody who wants to talk to us? And it spelled out demon. <laughs> and I remember also part of it was asking, are you from the moon or the sun? And it said the moon every time. We were like, we were like, felt like we were being all bad and <laughs> playing with fire. <laughs> we're like, we're supposed to stop talking to it now, but we're just going to keep going. And it just kept saying, bitch. <laughs> so that's most of what I remember. <laughs> I forgot that one of the things they said is, we asked, where are you as well, right? Like we kept asking that question. I said, in between life and death. I remember that. And then we said, who wants to talk to us? And they said, demon. And we said, why? And they said, he knows God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. They're all want to go down here, but I want to show you. Oh, God. Oh, bugs. There's like this wall in there. And then there's a door that goes outside to the cellar, but... You can see, I mean, this place is creepy as fuck. I go back up the stairs. You guys did the Ouija board. Oh, there's Winnie. You guys did the Ouija board right outside of this door. And I think I'm covered in webs right now. Hi, Win. This happened when I was like eight years old. 
when we would ask it about itself, it would say demon, that it was a demon, and it would give us facts about it, like that it was like buried in the cemetery, like it was a real cemetery by us. And every time we asked a question about me, it would spell bitch. B-I-T-C-H, B-I-T-C, like repeated, like just, it wouldn't stop. It was like the most horrifying, I can't believe I forgot that. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> obviously, and I just remember crying and I didn't understand why it was like that to me. And looking back, I was just a super intuitive kid. I mean, I had imaginary friends, like I remember weird things, but this is definitely up there of it responding demon and bitch. And I remember um, we ended up going to the cemetery, like the thing gave us a name. I don't remember. It's all written down somewhere in a little kid book, I'm sure. Uh... And, you know, maybe I should, like, interview my friend or my sister about it.